put out by the Occupy Wall Street people who are sort of the inspiration for this meeting. As we gather together in solidarity to express a feeling of mass injustice, we must not lose sight of what brought us together. We write so that all people who feel wronged by the corporate forces of the world can know that we are your allies. The process that we're using here is based on the general assembly process that's been handed down to us from Occupy Wall Street. Uh, so I'm going to read a little description of a general assembly. <clears throat> In a general assembly, everyone's voice is equal. Anyone is free to propose an idea or express an opinion as a part of the general assembly. Uh, agree is this? No. <laughs> the point of process, which would be like, hey, you guys, uh, this conversation is off track, or like we actually need to, <laughs> and then block, which is like, absolutely, this violates every principle that we have agreed on together as a group, and there's no way I'll let this happen. Just to work out the details uh, in in smaller working groups, and so the smaller groups can define the key points and then bring them back to the general assembly for consensus. I think we're going to start with the speakers. So hello, everybody. I'm Langdon Roberts, and. I'd like to talk today about some things that we can do to fix this economy because Washington isn't doing it. We're beginning to see that we need to take action. We're in crisis. We're in trouble. Quick introduction to consensus process. Part of having a general assembly, part of having a people's movement is the people talk. But how do we keep from all talking at the same time? How do we have all of our voices heard? I mean, it would be impressive if we managed to feel like we all had a voice in this group of a couple hundred people. <laughs> 5,000 people for the media. The general idea of a of consensus meeting is that everybody takes turns talking. There's some ground rules, like we don't talk over each other. Um, we keep things brief and concise. We raise our hand when we want to talk, and there's somebody who takes stack. I'll be doing that a little bit later during the discussion. Stack means like we're all taking turns talking. We raise our voice, and the person who's taking stack like pays attention to who wants to say something. And then um, the facilitator keeps things running smoothly. If anybody's like kind of off track, brings them back in to where everybody wants to be. Full consensus, we'll use that term, will mean everyone agrees or everyone is willing to go along with that. Does anybody have any questions? I got you. And I can't wait forever. Starting at the bottom like this is going to take too long. If we're really 99%, if we all voted, couldn't we make a difference right now? Yeah. That's one thing about consensus process. It is not a quick process. If we had that guy as the manager, he could just tell us what to do. We're going to go occupy that thing, and then we're going to go, you know, make democracy and take down the banks and stuff, right? That would be really easy, but that's not what we're doing here. The revolutionary part is the process, and it takes forever. And it's kind of like making sausage. You don't necessarily want to watch the process, but it's kind of fun when you get the results. What are we here to do? What are we going to do next? Yeah. All right? Yeah. I'm going to be facilitating the discussion. I might interrupt you and be like, hey, can you wrap it up? Or, hey, we, let's stay on topic. If you have something to say that's about what we're talking about, uh, wave your hand kind of like this and make eye contact with one of these two people right here. I've been involved in a lot of groups and have used consensus. It's a wonderful process. It's a very long process. I would love to see three specific, powerful messages come out of this group. We need to do things now, simplified, direct, powerful. We can't stand around waiting for them. We need to build these alternative movements, and we need to figure out what leverage we can have over them. We need to look at capitalism itself and decide how we want to organize our society so that something more than just profit is taken into consideration. There's a division between the people of this country and the legal system of this country. So there's a lot of confusion about who we are or who we think we are and who the system believes we are. Maybe it's time for a new intellectual group to come together and start to lay the foundation for a natural law. We are truly affecting the entire world with our intention and love to be here. I know that everything we have to say is super, super, super important that we have to say. And the other people are just kind of talking, you know? But maybe if we all try to make as talk as succinct and brief as possible, it would be great. 
There's a ton of us here, and we're all pretty discontent with the way things have been going in the world. We want to occupy something. Is that kind of where we're headed? And right now, our public spaces are being taken from us, and I propose that we take some back. Hey, what about the written house? So I just got really nervous. <laughs> is one, it's not really visible from the street. Two, there's a lot of grass and there's a lot of tree roots here and we're going to kill all of it if we occupy it for a while. I'm going to be making a list of places to occupy and then we're going to, let's talk about that. Or Pacific Avenue. That's all. Okay, next on stuff. Okay, next on stuff. Okay, first of all, I completely support the idea of an occupation, but because it's a serious venture, I'd like to see a show of hands of people that can actually do the camp, because we have to have a core number of people that are willing to do that, so that the rest of us can support them. How many people here are serious about coming out to an occupation, regardless of the risk? I would like to suggest that we occupy the courthouse. The best house is to have several I was thinking something like a bank. How about the rich house yeah. building? San Lorenzo Park. So that was a proposal for San Lorenzo Park. We refer to as Youth Go. We choose one location that we know we can hold, and then from this location, we occupy targets. And we can select our targets. We we'll occupy a parking lot that stops like people from parking in the banks. I just want to say a support for the clock tower. idea while we're deciding where we go that we pick a place that isn't going to interfere with local businesses. Businesses can't afford to be open, people can't afford rent, it borders represents that. But the big glaring but here is that putting yourself in a box is a lot easier to get people out of than if you're in a parking lot. However, that is a highly confrontational area. I'd rather march on it in the morning and go somewhere where we can gather a larger group tonight. 